Hey, what's going on? I got a really easy DIY for you. It's going to be a hex bar deficit deadlift pulling block. Let's take a look at how I did it. So here's the first step. You just get three cinder blocks. They're eight by eight by 16. Then you cut some wood to form. I got three hash lines right there on it. Just because I measured one three times. Now the wood is just some, some wood I had laying around at the house. So Home Depot has a setup that if you wanted to buy pre-cut wood, you, you can, but I just had this already. And then this 18 inch tire, you just throw it on like this. Right, and it just looks like that. And then you put the hex bar on it. It looks kind of like that. So the board is roughly 24 inches. And that's the same with the cinder blocks. And then the inside part of this tire is 18 inches. I tried using a straight bar with this earlier, but it just rolled off. So I'm gonna show you how I, how I operate this now. Plus it's kind of narrow. So the, the regular straight bar, how it's set up is, is kind of, my hands are too close together to be able to deadlift how I need to. And that's how it looks with just 145 on it. It's not really, leaning too much okay so there it is with 135 and i'm gonna put the other two 45 pound plates on it there's just a little bit of a size difference Now we start. Okay, so I've been using this for a little while now. I just want you to see how, how quiet it is. This is a pretty good setup. I don't really do deficit deadlifts, so this is gonna be new for me. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. Tell me if you would try this. It probably cost less than 20 bucks to even set it up. The tire itself is free on Facebook Marketplace. Like the video, subscribe to my page. I'll talk to you next time.